What's going on guys? I'm gonna do a quick tutorial about Native Instruments Complete Control 1.5 update. Some beautiful sounds from Native Instruments here. I have completed Ultimate, so pretty much everything they have done, I have it. Alright, let's record a quick theme so we can test this out. This update has a new tab right here and it allows you to control the sound of whatever plugin you have loaded up within Complete Control and um, it gives you just more hands-on control. You couldn't do that before. It was more difficult. I had to continue using Machine as a hub before and reroute the individual tracks in Logic. Um, now you don't have to do that. Each track could be, each instrument could have its own track and the parameters and you know the, the plugin can be completely controlled within with those knobs. <laughs> much better uh, hands-on control. It still misses the integration with uh, machine. I cannot get it to work to control these knobs with machine, but that's okay because if you do fine work, like if you are actually working on a, on a song, uh, you would want to go in there and fix it up anyways. Like, uh, it's, it's mainly for, for live situation that you would want to play around with faders anyways. <laughs> This also works with third-party plugins. It doesn't have to be native instruments uh, plugins anymore. It could be from other from other software developers, and they can map out the parameters to those knobs as they see fit, whichever one they think is more important. They can map it out, and you you'll be able to have control over that. And you can also reassign them. You can reassign those knobs to affect different parameters. I won't have to go through machine anymore. I can use complete control for pretty much any track that I want to create. And for beats, I still use machine. Reroute uh, to individual tracks, of course. This way you have full control over everything. Alright, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye.